a very welcome to you. We are here with 19th of June's Godly Blessing. Now courage is such a power, such a feeling and enthusiasm too that anything which you think or touch with your thoughts also, it gets done. That means your thoughts actually materialize with your courage, with your enthusiasm. And that's what we're going to talk about in today's blessing. God over here in his own verse says, May you have an elevated fortune and fly with your wings of zeal and enthusiasm on the basis of your courage. No matter what happens at any time. Now, things happen to all of us, sometimes through people, sometimes through situations, sometimes through five elements, sometimes even our own physical body troubles us. So no matter what happens at any time, never let go of your courage. That means move on, go ahead, no, don't ask questions how, when, what, why. Remember yesterday's blessing? Always think that everything is going to happen for the good, everything is already happening for the good and things are moving towards the right direction. When you see the weaknesses of others, do not become disheartened. See, in, in any spiritual organization, even in your family, if you keep on looking at other people's weaknesses, you'll be like, how will this work be done? How will this person even move ahead in life? How will this person progress in life? Or how will this organization, how will this institution move ahead in life? And there's so many things, so many weaknesses. And then we feel disheartened, right? If you are somebody who's a leader, who's a boss, who's a father, parent, who's an organization CEO, you feel disheartened. So God here says, never have such thoughts as perhaps the same will happen to me. The stage of fortunate souls can never be influenced or attracted by others and thereby come down. That means no human being or source in front of you can have an effect on you. Because they constantly fly with zeal and enthusiasm and remain safe. They constantly fly with zeal and enthusiasm and remain safe in any kind of situation. So they move above the situations of life. That means they're not looking at the negative down and trying to move forward. They're not looking at the back window or the back mirror and trying to drive forward. As simple as that. Those who think of the past or of their weaknesses or look back are in fact invoking Ravan. So those who think of the past, that I was like this, I was so bad, I was so ugly, internal ugly by the way, and I was so bad in character and all those things and I did such bad things. All of their weaknesses, which they still presently have, could be anger, jealousy, hatred, all those things, could be rebuke, could be hatred, could be, could be having low, uh, could be having low self-esteem or short temper, anything like that or look back are in fact invoking Ravan. Always believe and look at the beautiful and the purest side of yourself. That's what you are looking towards because that's your aim, that's your that's your victory. Instead of looking at the bridges which you have burned and the different things which you have done in your life which are actually sinful and which actually don't make you feel good about yourself. And that's what God is saying, move beyond all this otherwise you're going to have a tough time moving ahead you'll be facing the Ravan or the Shaitan or the Satan within you every single time and it's going to dishearten you and it's going to let, not let you move ahead so God's beautiful beautiful understanding and blessing which we are listening on a daily basis if we invoke the Ravan in others if we invoke the Ravan in kids it's impossible for them to become somebody better and that is the first lesson which we learn in Brahma Kumaris you too can learn this beautiful art and this beautiful knowledge on an easy daily basis. I'm Shanti with this.